What's up guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how to achieve a really smooth fast forward effect or slow motion effect works as well in Final Cut Pro by using the speed ramping tool. Let's go! I got a little gimbal shot here with a friend of mine Chris walking down the streets and I put the clip in slow motion. And I want the fast forward effect to start right at the first drop over here and then we press shift B to start with the ramping. Next step is to choose where you want the fast forward effect to end. I think here should be good. Press shift B again. And now we can edit the speed of the clip in between. And I'm changing it to about 250%. So, as you can see, the clip in between is now at 250% speed and the speed ramping tool made speed ramp at the beginning and at the end of the clip. You can modify the length of the speed ramp by just dragging it to the left or to the right, but we're leaving it right there. Let's check it out. Okay. Looks cool. So, let's move to the next one. I want the next fast forward effect to appear right here. We press shift B again. I want the fast forward effect to end right at the bit here. So when I'm cutting the clip and speeding it up, I'm estimating uh, how long it will be when I'm speeding it up. This time I want it to be four times faster than the original file. It's not ending right at the end of the second beat, so I'm shortening the speed ramp a little bit like that. Let's check it. Okay, let's move to the third one where I want to speed it up even more to 800%. Let's move over to this beat here. Press Shift B again. Choose where we want to end our fast forward effect. Maybe over here. Speed it up by eight times. Final Cut is creating the speed ramp again. This time I want it to be much longer so it comes in really smooth. And at the end I want to fade it out with a fast forward effect. So I'm just using the tool once and fading it out with a fast forward effect. And if you do it only with a starting ramp, it's creating only one speed ramp at the beginning. And I'm making this one longer again. Then we got a little fade out. You can do the same with slow motion. Then you have to use the normal speed of the clip at the beginning and you slow it down with the speed ramping effect. Back then I used to just cut it with command B and speed it up but then it's not giving you any ramp and I think it's a much smoother way to get fast forward effects or slow motion effects. If you have any questions comment in the comment section, subscribe for more tutorials. See you soon, bye bye!